alternating angle Swiss ball bicep curl. Now, you ideally need a bench that you can put the Swiss ball on. Now, this exercise, because you're changing your angle on the Swiss ball, can get quite unstable. So, you want to make sure you practice this a few times with a very light weight that, uh, so you don't flip over. Okay, so you need your dumbbells. You're going to get yourself into a squat, squat curling position. Then, you're rolling down, and what you want to essentially do is you want to alter the um, strength curve of the exercise by moving on the ball. So obviously this forward position is the most complicated for your arm to bend. So this is a pulling pattern exercise again. So you're curling upward and curling downward. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now, as you start to fatigue, what you will want to do, you want to move out of this most complicated angle and you want to move back a little bit and you start curling from here. And then before you lower the dumbbells down, you roll back forward and lower the dumbbells again. And then again, as you fatigue, you need to maybe uh, roll yourself back further. And again, rolling back to a more complicated position to lower the exercise, to do the eccentric phase of the exercise. And keep in mind that there's a major uh, misbelief that the concentric phase of an exercise is where you actually gonna cause a bigger muscle damage so to say, um, that's how your, your muscle is going to get stronger. Now, there are many studies prove that it's more the eccentric phase is where most of the strength you gain. So just pay attention. On the, on the more complicated phase, when you're lifting the, the weight and you're fighting gravity, you want to get yourself in a more advantageous, advantageous position. And then as you're going back, you lower yourself down in a more complicated position. So this is the alternating Swiss ball um, bicep curls.